Hello everyone, my name is Augustia Calder and today I'll be presenting deep polarization cues for transparent object segmentation. This work was done with my wonderful colleagues at Akasha Imaging and was accepted at CVPR this year as an oral presentation. So let's start with a seemingly simple question. How many glass balls do you see in the image on the left? Okay, how many do you see on the image on the right? See what I just did is I tricked you using printouts because on the left, two of these balls are actually just printed pieces of paper. And since the intensity of light isn't a geometric cue, you can't tell. But polarization of light is, and so you can actually tell that they're printouts and then isolate the correct object. We use that to build robust segmentation algorithms on the right. But let's go back and talk about transparent objects for a second. See, transparent object segmentation is hard because you have this extra problem of the background texture. The background texture, like the glove in this case, creates confusing edges and causes algorithms to really struggle when segmenting objects. Another example of this is the background texture here tricks the iPhone portrait mode into doing a portrait of the wine instead of the wine glass. Basically, transparent objects lack texture in RGB, and they have a unique texture in polarization. So I guess you could say transparent objects were the clear choice. <laughs> So, the contributions of our work is twofold. First, we study this polarization texture, the what, the where, the why, and then we use that understanding to create a physics-inspired neural network that is accurate, robust, interpretable, and can even pick up transparent objects. So, what's up with the polarization texture? On the bottom right, I have three images, each of a glass ball with a different background. In the intensity image, you can see that the background texture here dominates the image. However, in the polarization images, you can actually barely see the background texture. Why is that? It comes from the image formation. In an intensity image, all you're doing is summing the transmitted ray with the reflected ray. And the problem is in a transparent object, the transmitted ray can have a very strong texture and the reflected ray can be very small. So you end up masking the texture. However, the polarization image formation actually allows us to separate these or at least weight the uh, reflected ray much more because of the amount of polarized light. Again, we go into a lot more detail in the paper, so feel free to check that out for more info. Let's take a look at some edges now. For Here we show an example of a glass where the edge practically disappears in the intensity image. However, in the angle of linear polarization, the edge is clearly visible. This allows for better segmentation, and we verify this edge in the graph below. So I guess you could say polarization makes transparent objects a little bit edgy. Now let's talk about the architecture. So the first step of converting any deep network into a polarized CNN is using three input images instead of one and creating a multimodal fusion in the backbone. We then develop this novel attention fusion module, which creates an attention mask per input, allowing us to map inputs to outputs and interpret which inputs are being used for which outputs. This module can be applied to any uh, multimodal fusion architecture, not just polarization. Finally, we do physically accurate data augmentations, because if you don't account for the physics, data augmentations will actually hurt performance. So what are the results? First, we just get better instance segmentation across the board. If you look at the generalization to novel backgrounds, intensity mask RCNN has a hard time, but polarized mask RCNN does much better. Then in cluttered scenes, we do better on the edges. In printouts, we're not able to be fooled by the spoofs on the top. And then finally, um, we combine all of this for good robotic bin picking. Furthermore, we do interpretable instance segmentation. So here we visualize the attention weights on the bottom, and that shows that the DOLP and AOLP are actually the most heavily weighted when it comes to the prediction of the cup, creating robustness to printout spoofs. Finally, we actually set up a system to do robotic bin picking of transparent objects in a clutter. Again, details are in the paper, but the key takeaway is that our segmentation is much better than that when you use regular intensity CNNs, and therefore, we're able to pick an entire bin of transparent objects completely clean. In conclusion, transparent objects have a unique texture and polarization. We provide the framework to combine this with deep learning, achieve state-of-the-art results, and improve robustness to printout spoofs. This work again was done with my team at Akasha Imaging, a startup that bridges the gap between computational imaging, modern deep learning techniques, and custom hardware to achieve really cool results. Um, this paper... Uh, is available at the link on the bottom left, and for any questions, feel free to email us. Thank you so much for listening.